Okay, guys, now for the application of inertia, we are going to concentrate, as I said, on seat belts. Now, let me explain to you about seat belts first. Huh? Now, the reason over here why we need to fasten our seat belt over here, the answer following your schema for inertia over here, basically. It prevents the driver or the passenger. Okay, it prevents the driver or the passenger from being thrown forward. Okay, now basically over here, your seat belt provides the external force. Okay, this is the thing that you need to understand. Huh? Your seat belt over here, I'll put in bracket, provides the external force. Now, technically over here, your seat belt provides the external force that prevents the driver or the passenger over here from being thrown forward. Now, this is a good answer to be written if, for an example, they ask you, why do you need to wear your seat belts over here? A question that comes out for SPM. Provides the external force that prevents the driver or the passenger from being thrown forward. Okay, this is over here for seat belt. Now, let's take another one over here. The three things that I told you earlier, guys. Huh? Now, airbag. Now, your airbag over here, what does it do? Your airbag basically inflate, okay, automatically, okay, when a collision occurs, okay. Your airbag over here inflate automatically when over here a collision occurs. Now, when this happens over here, it prevents. Okay, this is the second point term. This part over here, it prevents. Okay, again, guys, the driver O passenger from being thrown forward. So if you look at the key points for both of these discussions over here, the key points are your seat belts over here, they provide the external force. This is number one. Okay, it provides the external force that prevents over here the driver or the passenger from being thrown forward. Okay, guys, so these are the golden keywords. Now, for airbag over here, the word inflate automatically. So, this is your golden keyword, number one. It inflates automatically and it prevents the driver or the passenger from being thrown forward. Okay. Now, this is for your seat belts and also for your airbag. Now, the third thing over here, which talks about your uh, headrest over here. Now, for headrest, I'm just going to explain to you in a simple term over here. Now, your headdress, I'll just write it over here at the side. Okay. Now, okay. The important ones are number one and number two. Headdress, okay, but we are specifically targeting over here for number one and number two. Now, for your headdress, basically over here, it prevents okay guys it prevents uh, your neck or it prevents neck injuries la. it prevents your neck from injuries okay especially over here during a rear collision okay now what I want you guys to imagine uh, Imagine over here a situation whereby 
you are sitting inside the car. And what happens over here? A lorry over here whacks your car. Now, your car is not moving, you know, guys. When the lorry over here whacks your car, what happens over here is your body is at, at state of stationary. It's at the state of rest. Your neck over here tends to move backwards. When your neck over here moves backwards, what happens over here is you will get a neck injury. Harap, harap, tamatila. But that's the reason over here you put a headrest. Now, hopefully, you guys understand what a headrest is. Headrest is over here. It's the, you have your car seat over here. It's the, uh, utmost top part over here of your car seat it prevents your neck over here from moving backwards so don't simply take out your headrest la guys if not unless you want to die la. now so these are the three things over here that that is important over here in terms of application for inertia now i'm going to give you one spm exam question and from there we see over here whether we can understand the concept of inertia or not all right